So we're back with another WWE 2K22 hidden features and things you might not know. Keep those suggestions coming. Make sure to check out the playlist if you miss any of the previous episodes. Let's continue hitting those 1,500 plus likes and let's get into today's video. First off, let's take the action to the backstage and shout out to Sandman3984 for pointing this out. You could get extremely creative with the tables that are in the backstage to make that backstage bro more vicious and get a KO in a more extreme faction. There's some tables in the backstage that you could use and you could place them anywhere that you want to. Place them in the right position and you could create for some really hardcore spots as I mentioned. Send your opponent flying and crashing down on a table or just carry him to do the usual power bomb slams and throws are to lead into a crazy KO win. To carry your opponent this year, grapple him and then press R1 in the direction that you want to carry him. If you go up, it will put him in that power bomb position that you could then use to throw your opponent from anywhere and send him crashing down on that table. While we are in the topic of backstage area, actually this is a horrible segue because the performance center is not a backstage area, but it should be in arena and it feels like it's a wasted arena right now because it is in the game it is one of those contents that is hidden out of exhibition even though if you did went through my rise you know that the performance center is an arena that you're able to compete in and you get to do the tutorial in it this is on pc so unfortunately it's not able to be done on consoles but gotta share it just because of how much details are included in it and this should be an arena that we should get 2k included in an upcoming update that will be awesome the footage that you guys are seeing is from twitter user made in valhalla and if you guys do mess around with mods this is something that you are able to do by swapping one of the default arena to the performance center location which as i mentioned is already part of my rise it looks awesome it's already in the game and just really hope that 2k exports it out of my rise and give it to us an exhibition i'm actually surprised that this is not one of the arenas that we get to unlock when competing in it in my rise let's talk some special wrestlemania entrance because you guys know there's a lot of those and we gotta make sure to keep checking it out on this episode we got goldberg because as the commentary indicates wrestlemania you're next The showcase of the Immortals is the perfect stage for a man who seemingly feels no pain. Disregard the first part of the name WrestleMania. Goldberg is here for a fight. Goldberg put it simply, WrestleMania, you're next. You guys know that on these, I also like to include a couple of extra tips and tricks. And this is not really a tips and tricks, but more like you need to get your hands on this fiend right now. Created by Watch the Status, he got a couple of accounts now, so do keep that in mind. Make sure to use the hashtags to find it. It even includes the championship entrance and the details are awesome. Yes, the Fiends had championship entrance, which is still in the game, but it's a hidden motion, so watch the status actually uploaded with this Fiend version, meaning that if you're on console, you're able to get your hands on it, which otherwise you wouldn't be able to. He clearly took some time to get this done, so make sure to give it a thumbs up, just like you did to this video already, right? And add your Fiend to the roster with the same hashtags, so you could also look for a render that fits perfectly.
And the last thing we are covering on this episode is probably the easiest way to do a heel turn, an upset victory, or even a double turn in the universe mode. So if you got a storyline going around and you're trying to swap somebody to be a babyface or a heel, this is a very easy way to do it. But I'm on exhibition here, so you could also get this done on exhibition just to kind of make that matchup a bit more entertaining. When you end a match in a schoolboy in a roll up, grabbing those tights, it will trigger a special cutscene in which uh, you can either let it play out so the losing superstar will question the referee decision and argue that it wasn't a three count or you have a very brief second if you're the loser to actually retaliate you have to be quick with this one and this will trigger another different cutscene in which uh, the loser will go on to attack the winner as they are walking away from this upset win this would then just turn into a breakout attack as i said all of this could be done on exhibition or even universal more in universe more it is a nice way for you to control somebody turning heel or baby face as you can set this up and it's an easy way to quote unquote explain somebody turning heel and out of nowhere or a baby face uh, to get an upset win against the like of like brock or roman reigns so that is what i got for you guys on this episode of wwe 2k22 hidden features and things you might not know make sure to leave more suggestions down in the comments below let's try to hit those 1500 plus likes once again stay savage and i'll catch you on the next one